Okay, when you come to the Gettysburg National Military Park, one of the tour stops that you will come to and during your automobile tour is the Farnsworth Calvary Charge of July 3rd, 1863. Um, this was a part of General Elon J. Farnsworth's brigade, which consisted of the 1st Vermont, the 5th New York, and the 18th Pennsylvania Cavalry. Um, and this, when you come to this stop, you see two waysides over here off the road. Um, one talks about the wounded and the dead, and the other one's the action of Farnsworth's Cavalry Charge. Um, and they're placed here in front of this field where our camera's in. However, because of a stake that was placed in the ground wrong by Colonel John Hammond of the 5th New York Cavalry uh, in 1887, um, he placed a stake in the ground where the 5th New York Cavalry Monument was to be dedicated and erected. Um, and because he was mistaken where he put his stake, the two other regiments, the 1st Vermont and the 18th Pennsylvania Cavalry, would also place monuments on the Gettysburg battlefield in the same brigade line in the wrong area. And it would forever affect the way the battle of Farnsworth's Charge was interpreted, and also meaning that uh, the waysides and the field that are generally considered to be for Farnsworth's Charge are probably in the wrong spot. In our next series of videos that we do um, called A Monumental Mistake, um, we are going to talk about uh, the placing of the one stake in the ground where the first monument was erected and how it affected the rest of the interpretation of the battle. This has been a monumental mistake on Gettysburg Battlefield. Okay, Facebook. this is going to be a monumental mistake at Gettysburg, part two. On our last part, we talked about um, the story of Farnsworth's charge, the three cavalry units that were part of Elon J. Farnsworth's brigade. Um, and the stake that was placed in the ground by Colonel John Hammond of the 5th New York Cavalry here in 1887. And by placing his stake in the ground in the wrong spot and then a monument one year later being dedicated, it put the entire brigade line off in the pages of the history books. As other two regiments would later place monuments within Confederate lines, and a little further to the north than they should have been. Unfortunately, um, the park doesn't interpret uh, this action correctly in its waysides, um, or do they talk very little about the original placing of the stake or the monument back here in 1887 and 1888, respectively. So I've done a little bit of research here, and I've cleared the way, and I'm going to take you to one of the secrets of the battlefield, which is the original location of the 5th New York Cavalry's Monument here on the western slope of Big Round Top. Now, a little bit of background why this mistake happened. When Hammond placed this stake in the ground here, um, it was still not the Gettysburg National Military Park. Um, and regiments would place their stakes in the ground, and then there were certain rules that it had to abide by. Now, also in the late 1880s, early uh, 1890s, there was disputes between a lot of other regiments with monuments, the 72nd Pennsylvania. Of course, there was the dispute with the Gettysburg Electric Railway, which we did an 18-part video series on. So right around the time that this is happening, the uh, John Bouchchowder and the park are experiencing problems with other wrong monuments as well as encroachment on the battlefield um, and this gets put on the back burner and that's why later as the veterans died off the monuments were never changed and can never be changed today because there is no one here alive to place a marker. So what I've done is I've, uh, I've located the position of the rock where the 5th New York Cavalry's monument was. It's in the woods. It's in this woods here, and as you can see, it's very, very thick. There's a lot of stickers, poison ivy, spider webs, 
you know, snakes and whatever. And there isn't a path that leads to it. So I was able to clear a slight path. And I'm going to show you how to get there if you want to come and visit. Back there where you see my car parked is the, or well, just to the right of my car would be the path that leads to the Vermont Monument, which is a, a stone dirt path that you can go to that you'll see in our upcoming video, and it sits back in here where the sun is shining. Um, in this direction, to the north, where you see that car moving now and about to turn the corner, that is the big round top parking area. Now if you walk, or if you park your car where I have mine parked, and you walk about halfway up here, um, on the right hand side, you're going to see a drain right here on the ground. You'll want to look for this drain. Then across the street from the drain you're going to see two trees, rather large ones, that are standing next to one another. And what I've done is I've cut a path today, starting using these trees as a reference point. I got a stick and beat back some of the stickers and brush, and I've carved a path out. It's about 25 yards uh, off of South, South Confederate Avenue. And as you can see on the ground here is where I kind of chopped away a small path. So if you guys want to come back here and visit, you'll know exactly how to find it now. And as we make our way back here, you'll want to look for a fallen tree and then a tree behind it standing. And then you'll see the boulder that was carved and flattened right here is the spot where the 5th New York Cavalry placed their monument here on July 3rd of 1888. And this is the key to understanding the mistake that was made. Um, understanding the mistake that was made here by placing the 5th New York's monument here. Therefore, when the other two regiments would come and place their monuments in uh, the year afterward, they would also place them in the brigade line, which was marked incorrectly. So this is the spot where Colonel John Hammond of the 5th New York placed a stake in the ground to mark a spot for a monument in 1887 that was erected on July 3rd, 1888. It was actually about a half a mile from where his regiment was positioned during the Battle of Gettysburg. Um, and his, his uh, positioning, of course, is part of Elon J., General Elon J. Farnsworth's Brigade of the 1st Vermont, 5th New York, and 18th Pennsylvania Cavalry. So this is Secrets of the Battlefield and a Monumental Mistake, Part 2, on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. standing here on South Confederate Avenue um, and to give you an idea where we come from the Bushman farm is in this direction when you take the Emmitsburg Road to South Confederate Avenue it comes across and then it bends right here and then that little marker there uh, to the left of that tree is the extreme end of the Confederate line um, when you come down you're gonna see a parking area right here where my car is parked and here in front of us would be Bushman Hill and this is going to be a monumental mistake, part three. And we're going to talk about the positioning of the um, 18th Pennsylvania Cavalry's monument, which now is also being placed in the wrong spot due to the 5th New York Cavalry placing their monument wrong in 1888. Now, the 18th Pennsylvania was dedicated September 11th of 1889 on uh on Bushman Hill and though it's closer to the area where the actual Farnsworth charge was made it's still in the wrong position thankfully the 5th New York was the only one of the three cavalry regiments to correct their monument so we can correctly place the battle line the battle line uh, on July 3rd of 1863 would have been the 5th New York and then over this way would have been the um, first Vermont Cavalry, and then the 18th would have been over here, meaning that Farnsworth Charge would have been coming in this direction here, not far from the Bushman Farm, crossing Plum Run as they came off the Rocky Hill, which is Bushman Hill, 
not the western slope of Little Round Top as the waysides. Now let's take a walk so I can show you now where the 18th Pennsylvania Cavalry's monument's at. If you take this little trail here that has this little uh, marker on the side, it's going to be a, a little uh, rock wall line trail. Sometimes during the uh, damp weather it can be very wet and uh, muddy back here. But as we get up to the top here, um, you're going to see a marker here for Kilpatrick. Um, and Kilpatrick's uh, Cavalry Corps of the 3rd Division. And you're going to make the left where it splits. You're going to go past uh, Brigadier General Judson Kilpatrick's monument, which we're coming up to now. And then up the hill. And again, this is the original hill that the colonel was recollecting in his mind but got wrong. This is Bushman Hill, named after the Bushman property, which we did a video on earlier in the year. And here it is. This is the um, monument to the 18th Pennsylvania Cavalry, dedicated on September 11th, 1889. It's very often not visited and it's kind of off the beaten path. This has been a monumental mistake, part three on Gettysburg. This Battlefield is a Facebook. monumental mistake, part four on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. We're here off of South Confederate Avenue, which is just over here in the distance, and we're walking on this dirt trail, which will take us over to the first Vermont Calvary Monument. This monument, um, after the mistake of the 5th New York Cavalry, which was dedicated on July 3rd of 1888, and then the second monument of this brigade, which was the 18th Pennsylvania, which was dedicated on September 11th, 1889. Um, this monument here was dedicated on October the 9th, 1889, making it the third mistake caused by the misplacing of the stake of the 5th New York Cavalry. Now, the problem with the monument and all the monuments that were mistakenly put here is they fall on the western side of what is South Confederate Avenue in their distance. On July 3rd, 1863, this was actually Confederate burial lines, or, 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 or I'm sorry, Confederate battle lines. Um, the 5th New York marker, which we took a look at the boulder, uh, is about 320 yards in the distance in the woods in front of us. Um, that was the monument that was dedicated on July 3rd, 1888, misplaced by a stake that Colonel John Hammond had put in the ground. And when that happened, the brigade line got marked here, here, and then beyond in the distance by the 18th Pennsylvania, instead of being moved further to the east and south, um, which also... Uh, messes up the entire interpretation of Farnsworth's charge on July the 3rd, 1863, here on the southern end of the battlefield. So this is the uh, wrong position for the 1st Regiment of Vermont Cavalry, 1st Brigade, 3rd Division Cavalry Corps, who fought near here on July 3rd, 1863, as members of Elon J. Farnsworth's Brigade during the action of Farnsworth's charge. This has been part four of a monumental mistake on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. Okay, this is gonna be a monumental mistake, part five on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. In part three, we began walking on a path to show you the 18th Pennsylvania Cavalry Monument. You wanna go back and watch that video. Uh, as I said, um, 
you took the path and you split to the left where the path split. Well, if you take that path straight and keep walking, it will come into this direction here. And this is the current and correct location of the 5th New York Cavalry. This monument was uh, moved from the position that we've seen in part two to this area somewhere between 1890 and 1893. It was the only one of the three cavalry regiments in Elon J. Farnsworth's brigade that was ever corrected before the veterans themselves died. So we do have the extreme right of that brigade uh, marked correctly. So it went from that small boulder that it sat on the west slope of um, Big Round Top, which was dedicated in 1888, which the stake was placed in the ground by John Hammond on 1880, in 1887, uh, to its correct position here uh, by 1893, which would have meant that behind it in the distance over here would have been the first Vermont cavalry and then the 18th Pennsylvania even further in the distance. So in the angle that our camera now faces, um, going from left to right would have been the, the correct position of the charge of Elon J. Farnsworth. And um, this is where one mistake on the battlefield with a stake of a monument um, got a portion of our history of the Battle of Gettysburg here and the interpretation of it wrong. This has been a monumental mistake, part five, on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. This is a monumental mistake, part six, on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook. And we're now walking in the woods down the slopes of Bushman Hill towards South Confederate Avenue in the um, area where Elon J. Farnsworth's charge would have began and taken place on the uh, morning of July 3rd, 1863. This was one of the final engagements uh, of the Battle of Gettysburg, uh, taking place simultaneously uh, with the actions on July 3rd, Culp's Hill, of course, of Pickett's Charge. Um, the morning attack at Culp's Hill uh, is very well spoken of. The early afternoon attack of Pickett's Charge is, is probably the most spoken about uh, event at the Gettysburg Battle, yet the uh, South Calvary Battlefield, which we call this, uh, is not well talked about. And I did a video early, earlier in the year from the waysides of the, the incorrect position of Farnsworth Charge, which you want to go back and watch. But this is the area here uh, where the charge would have began and taken place on July 3rd, 1863. This has been a monumental mistake on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook, Part 6. Okay, we are standing here at the monument to Major William Wells, who would later be breveted Major General William Wells. Um, and he was in command of the 2nd Battalion of the 1st Vermont Cavalry. Uh, here on July 3rd of 1863. We're going to look a little bit about, uh, look over this monument a little bit more in detail. Um, and we're also going to connect it with the video series I did called A Monumental Mistake at Gettysburg. So this will be the final or the end part in that video series and also uh, a video on William Wells and a little bit about the monument itself. Um, on July 3rd, 1863, about 5 p.m., um, William Wells, in command of the 2nd Battalion of the 1st Vermont, uh, made a charge here against Law's Brigade. Now, take in mind, this was just after uh, Pickett's charge had ended. Um, being led by Major William Wells and also General Elon J. Farnsworth, who was commanding the brigade, um, they encountered five regiments of uh, Law's Confederate Brigade uh, near where this monument is today. Now, the first and the third uh, battalions were ordered to support the second under Wells. 
Um, and this happened in this area and going in toward the slider property over here. The three battalions, uh, not too long after that, came under the fire of the 4th Alabama Infantry um, and the 9th Georgia. Um, and then they began an exit toward the south, where then they became engaged with the 15th Alabama Infantry, um, who surrendered to them. Now, this, of course, again, this was after the battle uh, over on Cemetery Ridge at the high water mark where Pickett's charge had ended. So this is one of the final actions of the battle here at Gettysburg. Um, and Major William Wells would later um, uh, be awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor for his actions here at Gettysburg as he led a battalion, uh, being the 2nd Battalion of the 1st Vermont, uh, on, a, on a desperate charge here. Um, on the right side of the monument, is a plaque to William Wells and his service. It talks about his birth of 1837, his death of 1892, and in all his different promotions. Uh, First Lieutenant, October 14, 1861. Captain, November 18, 1861. Major, December 30, 62. Colonel, July 2, 1864. And of course, he was a major, as I said, here at Gettysburg, even though he has stars on his shoulders up there as a brevet major general. Um, and of course, his brevet major general was given on February 22nd, 1865, just before the end of the war. Um, it talks about his being mustered out on January 15th of 1866, um, and then awarded the Medal of Honor for the most distinguished gallantry at Gettysburg, July 3rd, 1863, uh, as a commander of Sheridan's uh, Cavalry Corps. Now, on the left side of the monument is basically the actions that took place here. Um, the story from 5 o'clock p.m. on July 3rd, 1863. However, the bronze plaque that's on the front of the monument is probably the most beautiful and most interesting of all of them um, because it's, it's very detailed. It, it, it stands out from the monument itself here and the amazing detail in here um, allows us to even know some of the figures that are on the the uh, bronze plaque for instance this gentleman here is William Wells uh, he has a major's rank uh, and here he is leading the charge as Elon J. Farnsworth, uh, who is behind him here, is shot and wounded. Um, this gentleman right here with the captain is Captain Henry Parsons. Um, the gentleman with the sword that has the first sergeant stripes on, that is First Sergeant Farrand Stuart Stranahan. Um, the man that's here dead on the ground that's wearing the sergeant stripes is Sergeant Dunham. Um, Andrew Barnes is the gentleman here that's caught trying to get out from underneath a dead horse who is being ridden by Charles McBride. So that's Charles McBride and this is Andrew Barnes. Um, now, the gentleman with the bugle back over here is first sergeant, uh, or I'm sorry, rather that's Gilbert Bicklin. And Bicklin actually came back here in 1913 at the dedication of the monument and sounded the bugle once again. Uh, the lieutenant colonel, which is the, uh, who was in command of the 1st Vermont right here, that is Lieutenant Colonel Addison Preston. And then the wounded soldier here that's leaning on the tree um, is Iris Sperry. And then of course down here is the, the uh, person who sculpted uh, this monument. His name was Schweitzer and he was a Swiss born uh, sculptor. He was the one that originally 
uh, did the sculpture of this bronze plaque. And this bronze plaque has been vandalized over the years, stolen, uh, recovered. Um, so it's, it's actually had some uh, history behind it here as a, a damaged, stolen, vandalized monument here. And we did a, vo uh, a video a few days ago on the 74th Pennsylvania where we called um, for a, uh, a better protection of our monuments here at this outdoor memorial park that we know as the Gettysburg National Military Park here. Um, again, this is the final part or the end of a monumental mistake at Gettysburg, the charge of Elon J. Farnsworth and one of the regiments, one of the three regiments that were involved in the monumental mistake video series, the 1st Vermont Cavalry here. Uh, and also a little bit about the William Wells History and Monument here on Gettysburg Battlefield Facebook.